Hello everybody, this is John here, aka Press the Bubbles, and once again, welcome to my laboratory. In today's edition of Pokemon Unite, we're going to talk about that tank, awesome mobility of Cressel. You know what's awesome about Cressel? This courageous crab, even though it has offensive mobility very low and scoring seems below average, what it has going for it though is the endurance, which is second to the top next to Sornalax, and also its support system, which we'll get to in a second. Because there's two great videos we're going to show you today of how to run a great Cressel. First has to do with Stealth Rock and Cell Smash, that has to do with Focus Band, Buddy Berry, and Score Shield. So, what's important about that? Well, this variety doesn't do a lot of damage but it uses two attacks which shell smash basically makes it go fast so even though his mobility is low when he hits shell smash it increases mobility drastically so even though his stats are saying hey he's not that strong he actually is like a hidden surprise think of it like a hidden gem inside the crystal inside that dirt pile there's an awesome gem inside there now what's also good when you use that is stealth rocks and stealth rock lays out this area effect circle that if you're inside it you're taking chip damage which is great for two things one throw at your opponents when they're trying to attack your guys and two to protect your shield uh, when they're trying to score on your side so since we're talking about that the idea of this setup is that he can go top or bottom preferably going top at first and because you have score shield you could go right in there, laugh at your opponent, and just score. <coughs> so the idea is you want to get, you know, get to level 4 as fast as you can. You got Rock Slide and Fairy Cutter. And once you get to level 4, you get that Shell Smash going on. And then once you have the Shell Smash, once you get to level 6, then you got Self Rock, and you get to two main combos. While you're doing this, you're just trying to score as many points, chip points as possible to disrupt your opponent. When you have buddy fights like Dread and Rotom, he's also good too because he can throw that rock slide. So if they want to sit there in the center and try to battle it out, you're doing chip damage to all their Pokemon, helping your allies finish the blow. And he can just go in there and still do his little chip damage from his pin uh, little tiny pinches he has. So don't mistake him that just because he has self rock doesn't he can still attack. The focus band is just there to prevent it from being KO'd if it's trying to score or if it needs to uh, survive. It can use Shell Smash to escape while that focus band is keeping it alive. And Buddy Barrier, because once you have a level 9, you get your night move, Rebel Rouser. <coughs> and it creates, uh, it's sort of like Stealth Rock in a sense, but it's uh, built all around him. And as he moves around and he does damage, wherever Zoran is in his proximity, it's taking damage on top of that. So you can throw another Stealth Rock, sit in there with your Night Move, and you're just ranking up the damage really quick in battles. But overall, that's the idea of that setup. Now for the second setup we're going to talk about is X Scissors Cell Smash. Now, the reason why we're not really going to Rock Tomb, it's just not that good. Compared to Soul Smash, because it's this boost, it's the speed that, that this Crestle has to prove to going, look, I may be slow at first, but Shell Smash comes off and I'm just as fast as Absol, or even faster. Now this well, particular build, we have Scope Lens, Razor Claw, and Score Shield. So the idea is you can still do the scores because you have high defense. You're still going and banking um, chip points in there at times. But now you have Scope Lens and Razor Claw, which helps increase your critical hit ratios. Now when using X Scissors, X Scissors has a high chance to get a little more crit power into there. So he does three consecutive hits. If your opponent is caught in these hits, the first one, he... that your opponent can't do squat because in that little time frame you're not only knocking them back but you're hopefully doing critical hits on every time you hit them and your allies are attacking them while you're pushing them back so Kressel is a built-in tank he has speed and hidden power speed and he has hidden power for attack that he can do <coughs> outside that Kressel is just a main powerhouse Pokemon that people realize that now he's a tank but he has other features that are hidden within him. But besides talking about it, let's go ahead and get into one or two matches and show you what this crustle can do.